Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Hawakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds, prophesying and laboring in this truth. I want to do this lesson today on an article I came across on the Washington Post entitled Trump wants to slash food stamps and replace them with blue apron type program. So, you know, all all you jakes out there on these food stamps and on this uh, government assistance, Trump is about to slap Trump about to take that take that away from you. All right? Along with your um eventually with your uh, section 8 with your um and whatever kind of benefits that you're receiving from um you know, the so-called white man whose name is Esau uh, eat them according to the scriptures. All right. So I'm gonna read a little bit of the article. Um, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but um, you know, it's just it's showing you in this article that you know Trump's gonna uh, change your uh, your EBT card, your electronic benefits transfer card, into a uh, canned goods or a, a box full of food. So you know, Jake and Jake's not gonna be able to uh, you know sell they sell the EBT card no more. And buy dope or, or or do whatever with it, all right. See these these Edomites is cracking down on you, Jakes, and it's, it's deservingly so because you put your trust in the so-called white man and not in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So um, let me get into the article. The Trump administration wants to slash food aid to low-income families and make up the difference with a box of canned goods. A change that the Office of Management and Budget Director Mike Mul Mulvani described in a Monday briefing as a blue apron type program. All right. Um, what we do is propose that for folks who are on food stamps, part not part not all part of their benefits come in an actual sort of. And I don't want to steal somebody's copyright, but a blue apron type program where they actually receive a food, actually receive the food instead of receive the cash. Mulvani said it's lower. It's lower the cost of us being slack. It lowers the cost of us because we can buy at wholesale, wholesale prices, whereas they have to buy it at retail. It also makes sure they're getting nutritious foods, so they're pretty excited about that. And this that's nothing but you know Esau's witchcraft. But you know, you niggas, especially the nigger woman that's on food stamps, you know, this gonna hit you hard. Cause you know the nigger woman first first of the month come, the nigger woman depends on those food stamps to uh you know buy food or or, or sell them for you know for whatever. All right, so you know. That, but that's what they get for uh, putting trust in the devil. Okay, let me read on down here. Um, it says, on Monday, Trump's administration proposed cutting food stamps formerly known as a super uh, supplemental nutrition assistance program by $17 billion in 2019 and more than $213 billion over the next decade. The dramatic reductions came as part of a budget proposal that made sweeping that made sweeping across the board cuts to popular safety net programs, including federal housing subsidies and Medicaid. So after they finish taking your, your food away, they're going to take away your Section 8 and they're going to take away your health benefits. So Jake ain't about to, you know, Jake that depends on this stuff. You're not about to have nothing. All right. You're going to be, you're going to, your lazy ass is going to either force to get a job or you're going to starve. All right. Um, it goes on to read, but the administration's SNAP proposal was particularly striking. Advocates and experts said because it's advocates a fundamental change to the program's administration. For the past 40 years, the Agricultural Department has distributed benefits as either paper coupons or virtual dis 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 disbursements on electronic benefit transfer cards, allowing recipients, recipients to use them as cash on foods of their choice and at the grocery store. All right, because Jake was going out. Jake goes out and abuses the, the benefits, of course. You know, but a lot of this, a lot of these uh, programs were made for Edomites. Okay, first and foremost, the Section 8, the um, 
the EBT, the food stamps, all that was made for Edomites. There's nothing in this country was never made for you Jakes, all right? And what happened was our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they get in these programs and they get comfortable, all right? They get comfortable with Esau, the so-called white man, um, you know, providing for them. All right. You know, like the scriptures uh, say that, you know, in the curses, we're going to go to our um, to the enemy, our enemies for the one of all things. All right. So our, our people are comfortable with Esau providing for them and, um, you know, comfortable with depending on Esau. But Esau right here is showing you as concerning these food stamps, this devil's turning their back on you. They're going to give you a box of canned goods and say, take it or leave it. That's all your ass is getting. All right. Let me read on. But. Under the Trump proposal, which the Agriculture Department had dubbed America's Harvest Box, all households receiving more than $90, per, $90 per month in benefits, 81% of the SNAP households overall would be receiving about half their benefits in the form of a government purchase perishable food item. So there's a half of the benefits and then half you'll get, you know, you'll get the, a box of canned goods and the half of it you'll get the money. And that's just Esau you know, being a devil, because eventually you're not going to get no money, all right? They're going to produce the foods. They're going to tell you what they can give you, and you're going to have to take it or leave it, okay? Um, those foods would include self-stable milk, juice, grains, cereal, pasta, peanuts, peanut butter, beans, canned meat, fruits, and vegetables, according to the USDA. The department estimates that it could supply these goods at half the cost of retail, slashing the cost of SNA, SNAP while feeding the hungry. And they named all these foods, and all those foods ain't nothing but poison. All right, that's nothing but to continue to kill Jake. It's all more likely abominable food, or it's um, GMO, uh, genetically modified um, organism. All right, it's, it's, it's just poison. It's stuff to kill Jake. All right, you know, so that's just the devil. It's the devil being the devil, man. You know, they're going to cut off your benefits and then they're going to tell you what they can give you. And then the, the, the shit that they can give you is going to is going to kill you. All right. They, they're making these foods in a laboratory. All right. Um, let me uh, scroll down here. Let me see. What was that? OK, um, the proposal is likely to enrage food retailers, particularly Walmart, Target and Aldi that stand to lose billions in food stamp benefits are cut, analysts say. And that's and that's true. All right? They cut those food stamps, your Walmarts, your, um, you know, wherever you live, they got Smiths out here or, or Vons. Man, these, these grocery stores are going to take a major hit because on the first, you know, you see Jake in, the, in Walmart with, you know, two or three carts of food because, you know, you already know what time it is. They got their EBT card. They, you know, they got their money. All right? But that's going to be cut out. And you're going to see a lot of more Walmarts and uh, grocery stores and these big um, these big grocery store chains cut, um, shutting down. You know, you had a bunch of Sam's Club that just shut down. And Sam's Club, um, I think, yeah, Walmart owns Sam's Club. All right? So that's just, you know, that's just, that's just a part of Esau taking this economy down to try to um, further push the New World Order. All right? And, and ultimately push that chip. All right. Um, on Monday, the Food Marketing Institute, a trading association for grocery stores, uh, condemned the Harvest Box proposal as expensive, inefficient, and unlikely to generate any long-term government savings. Of course, that of course they're gonna say that say that because this program is gonna cut into uh, their pockets. But at the end of the day, these devils, the uh, so-called white man. This uh, American government, they're going to do what the hell they want to do, whether Jake like it or not. Whether these whether these, um, these food chains, these Walmart these food chains, they like it or not. Okay? Um, let me see. Okay, I want to read this part right here. In a statement, Jim uh, Will, president of Food Research and Action Center, described the proposal as a Rude, Rube Goldberg design system of commodity distribution via food boxes. It will be administratively costly, inefficient, uh, 
stigmatizing and prone to failure. We'll add it and it will return the country to depression era anti-hunger approaches. And that's what the so-called white man wants. This place is going down. America, and that this shows you that America is going down bit by bit. All right, you got, you know, they're, they're, they're attacking you jakes mainly because you jakes depend on this, these food stamps, all right, along with the so-called white man, you know, because a, a lot of poor white trash out there that depend on these food stamps too. But they're really mainly targeting you jakes because they know how you jakes get down selling your food stamps for uh, for money, for dope or whatever. All right, so, um, you know, this place is going down. It says, a country to... Depression era, anti hunger approaches. So, these 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 Edomites they know that the uh, it's gonna be a food shortage in America. They know that a famine is coming. A, a a famine on a large scale is coming to this place. All right. Um. So let me pull this script and um get right into it. This is um Isaiah thirty one, and uh, I'm sorry at one. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And Egypt is talking about um America. All right, um, referring to um, Revelations uh, 11 and 8, it says um, this place is spiritually called uh, Sodom and Egypt. All right, so Egypt is talking about America. Woe to them. Woe means destruction. All right, woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And that's what you Jakes are doing. You know, you go to your uh, oppressor for one of all things. You're going to Esau for help. You're going to Esau for his assistance, for his uh EBT assistance, uh, Section 8 assistance, Medicaid assistance, instead of going to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? And stay on and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. All right? So they trust in this place. They trust in America because they see that the all the glitz and glamours of America. They don't see the wickedness of America. All right, our people, main, mainly you, uh, you know, all you, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, two thirds of our people. All right, they don't see the evils of this place because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek ye seek the Lord. So our people don't, people don't, like the scriptures say, our people don't consider, man. Our people are sottish. All right, they trust in. They trust in Egypt. They trust in America instead of trusting in the Lord. All right. And they're going to and they're going to get, you know, just they're going to get the same judgment as Esau, man, for for trusting in this devil and this trusting in this devil in this system. All right. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil and will not call back his words, but will arise against the house of evildoers. All right. That's the how. Yes. You how a shot coming back and he's going to destroy you. Uh, you niggas, man. That, that go along with Esau in this system, that love Esau in this system, all right, that love those EB, those, that love those food stamps, that love those benefits from Esau, all right, and against the help of them that work iniquity, okay, um, next script I want to get is, uh, this is Amos chapter 6 verse 1, woe to them that are at ease in Zion. And that's concerning you, you know, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Our people are at ease right now because they have these benefits, all right? They hand in hand with Esau right now. So our people are at ease. Our people aren't looking, um, you know, for the uh, for, for, for the Lord's coming. Our people aren't circumspect to see that Esau is trying to destroy them, that, you know, they're being, um, them being comfortable with uh, accepting Esau's benefits and Esau's help. All right, that makes our people at ease. Woe to them that are at ease and trust in the mountain of Samaria. All right, which are a ch which are named chief of the nations to whom the house of Israel came. All right, so our people trust in our people put all their trust in America. All right, they trust that on the first that you know they EBT going to have X amount of dollars on it. All right, and our people are comfortable with that. But that's destroying our people. Our people are com being complacent in this society. They don't think this place don't got to end. And, and little do they know this place is 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 circling the drain right now. All right. Um, okay. Last script I want to get is um, this is Micah two and uh, two and ten. Arise ye and depart. 
for this is not your rest because it is polluted and it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So arise, our people will have to rise out of arise up out of this, arise out of this this at ease um, spirit that they in. All right, they, our people are too comfortable in this in the, in the, in this in hell basically. All right, but it shows you in, in this article that I just read, it's showing you that Esau is 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 cutting you niggas off, man. It's cutting you two thirds off. They depend on those benefits. Okay, first is the food stamps. And next is going to be a section eight. All right. And it shows you Esau is cutting you niggas off, man. East and because Esau, like, like the scripture says, in um, that's uh, Revelations, the 12th chapter. Esau know that he got a, but a short time. So he's trying to cut all he's trying to cut, cut, cut all his loose ends right now, man. He's cutting you niggas off. He's cutting everyone off. All right. Um, so, um, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying only if all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect throughout the four winds prophesying and laboring in its truth. Shalom.